Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create a simple login app using Java application. So for example, I want to create an app on which I want to give the username and password. And when I click the uh, login button, I want to open the second FXML file. So how we can do it, let's see. So I'm going to create a new project which will be a Java FX project once again. So just choose Java FX project and the name of the project I will name it as login FX and click finish. And in here inside the source, I'm going to create one more class. So just right click on application package and we are going to create a class called main controller for the controller and I'm going to create two fxml files one for login and other for if the login is success I want to open the second uh, scene right so I'm going to first create a first fxml file so right click and choose this new fxml document and first of all I will name it as login fxml okay and the second uh, fxml file i'm going to name it as uh, uh, main fxml okay so we have two fxml files right so our classes and uh, the fxml files are ready so let's uh, create some design so first of all i will choose this login fxml uh, file right click and open in scene builder and i'm going to select this anchor pane here and initial size i want to give here so i will give the initial width of uh, for example once again 300 by 300 so pref width and pref height is equal to 300 by 300 okay and now what I want to do here is I want to uh, first of all uh, go to controls and inside the control I will uh, take a button first of all and then I will take a text field from here so just search for uh, text field which is for username and I'm going to choose a password field so password field is a special kind of field on which the characters are not visible so it will uh, show something like dot 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 instead of the character so your password is protected right and I'm also going to take a label from here so just take a label to show if our uh, login is successful or not okay so we have two text boxes one label and one button now i'm going to just select all these item and change the font size of uh, all these items to 18 for example so i will just select 18 here and i will just readjust these text boxes something like this okay now uh, to show some prompt text for example uh, we want to prompt user that this is our username field and this is our password field what we can do is we can just select uh, this uh, text field and go to the properties here and at the top you can see prompt text so we can write here user name and press enter and same we will do for password field so select password field and just write password here right so uh, it will be seen here in the background that this field is for username and this is for the password we can change the text of uh, this label also as status for example and we can change the color of this uh, label also using this text fill and in here i'm going to choose a little bit red color so just choose this color and now we have the red uh, foreground color for this text now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the text of this button also to login so it's uh, clearly visible 
and now we are ready i think so let's uh, just give the id to this uh, label also so just go to code and uh, here id will be lbl and for example status okay so the id of label is status now let's give the id to these uh, uh, username and password fields also just go to the code here and just give the fx id to txt uh, user name and for the password also just give the fx id is equal to uh, txt password okay and now we are going to save our code so just go here and save it okay now we will go to our eclipse ide and in here what we are going to uh, do is in the controller first of all we are going to create uh, these three variable which are two uh, text boxes for username and password and one label okay so just give uh, this tag here at the rate xfx ml and then just write private label and the label name should match the label here so just select the label and copy the label name and paste it here okay in the same way we will add the text box fields also so just copy and paste something like this and this should be text field and this should be text field also and we want to match this id to the id which we have defined here so just select this copy the fx id from here and paste it here and same we will do for the password so just select this copy it and paste it here and now just click and fix the import for fxml and the label and also the text field okay so everything is done and inside the controller we will define a public method which will be a void and we will name it as for example login itself okay so login and uh, here we will pass action event and inside the function what we are going to do is we are going to just check what is the text for these uh, uh, text boxes so we will check if the text for the username matches our text so text dot get text equals some predefined value for example uh, we define user as the username we want to match this keyword here right and we also want to match this password field so just take the text from it so get get text and uh, dot equals and we want to match for example some keyword also for example pass okay and if these two keyword matches then we want to display some message so we will just copy this label here and we will just set text on it and we will say login success otherwise we will display the message that login is failed okay so just take this label and paste it here and in this time login is failed okay and one thing we forgot here is we haven't connected our fxml file to the controller right so you open your scene builder and open this controller on the left hand side you will see at the bottom here and then choose this class called application.mainController and then choose the button and go to the code here on the right hand side and in the on action category just choose this login method which we have defined okay and save everything okay and one more thing which is remaining here is we want to go to the main.java file and in here instead of this border pane we want to provide our parent root something like this but this is our login.fxml so this will be something like this okay save your code and right click and refresh your code and run it 
our app is running now so for example i gave some uh, wrong username and password here and it shows login failed right but for example i give uh, the valid user so in our case valid user id is user right so just give here user and valid password is pass here so just give uh, pass here and click login and now it says login success okay now for example we want to open the second scene using this uh, login button so for example if the login is success we want to open the uh, main fxml file right so how do we do it so what we are going to do is we will go to the main.java file here and we will copy this code for creating the scene and opening the scene from here okay so copy this all code we are going to reuse this code and go to the main controller and inside this if condition after the message is shown just paste uh, this code and this will give you this error because we haven't defined the stage uh, here so we just need to define our stage so just write stage primary stage because uh, we have this primary uh, stage object name from our previous code is equal to new stage and import the stage here so just import stage and in here you will see this line will uh, give you this error line and it says unhandled exception type io exception so we will extend this uh, method as it throws so just throw exception from here okay so just throw exception and now this error will go okay and if you want you can just open uh, this main.fxml file first of all add this main.fxml file here so just change the name as main.fxml file and now open your main.fxml file in scene builder and in here first of all we will provide some uh, width here for example uh, 300 by 300 and now we can add a label here so just add a label just search for the label in controls and drag and drop this label here and just go to the property and change the font size 18 for example and the text is for example main window okay and save your code and now we will run our code but before that just right click on your project and refresh it and save everything and run it and in here we will give the valid username for example user and valid password which was pass and click login and it opens our second scene here right which is our main window okay now if we provide some random username and password it's not going to open the second scene and it says login failed so in this way you can create a simple login application using javafx i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now